Sri Devi's English Zone. On Christmas Day in the year 1642, Isaac Newton was born in a small village of Ulsthorp in England. Little did his mother think when he, when she beheld her newborn baby, that he was d- destined to explain many matters which had been a mystery ever since the creation of the world. So Isaac's father being dead, Mrs. Newton was married again. to a clergyman and went to reside at north with them her son was left to the care of his good old grandmother who was very kind to him and sent him to school in his early years isaac was chiefly remarkable for his ingenuity in all mechanical o- occupations he had a set of little tools the saws of various saws of various sizes manufactured by himself with the aid of these isaac contrived to make many curious articles at which he worked with the uh, with some so much skill that he seemed to have been born with a saw or chisel in his hand so the neighbors looked with vast admiration at the things which isaac manufactured and his old grandmother i suppose was never weary of talking about him he he will make a capital workman one of these days she would probably say no fear but what isaac will do well in the world and be a rich man before he dies be held up in a sea or observe destined up in a fate mystery up in a impossible to understand admiration na respect weary abina tiredness tired irpadru ingenuity abina ability to invent things or creativity contrived na creator or inventor some of his friends no doubt advised isaac's grandmother to apprentice him to the clock maker for besides his mechanical skill the boy seemed to have a taste of mathematics which would be very useful to him in that profession and then in due time isaac would set up for himself and would manufacture curious clocks like those that contain set of dancing figures which issue from the a uh, dial plate when the hour is struck like those where the ship sail across the face of the clock and is seen tossing up and down on the waves and often as the pendulum vibrates indeed there was some ground for supposing that isaac would devote himself to the manufacture of clocks since he had already made one of a kind which nobody had ever heard of before it was set going not by wheels and weights but by the dropping of water and This was an object of great wonderment to all the people in the neighborhoods and it was and it must be confessed that there are few boys or either men or men either who could contrive to tell that oh clock it is by means of a bowl of water besides the water clock Isaac made a sundial so thus his grandmother was never at a loss to know the hour for a water clock would tell it in the shape and the dial in the sunshine sun the sundial is said to be still in existence at ulstrop on the corner of the house where isaac newton went so dwell abina live in confessed in a mistake or wrong contrived na create apprentice na works for someone to learn skill isaac possessed a wonderful faculty of acquiring knowledge by a simplest means what method do you suppose he took to find out the strength of the wind he jumped against the wind and by the length of his jump he could calculate the force of the gentle breeze thus even in his boyish sports he was continually searching out the secrets of philosophy so not far from his grandmother's residence there was a mill which operated on a new plan isaac was in the habit of going there frequently and would spend hours and examine its various parts while the mill was at rest he peered into its internal machineries when its broad Uh, sails were set in motion by the wind he watched the process by which the wind stones were made to resolve so crush the grain that was put into the hopper after gaining a thorough knowledge of its construction he was observed to be usually busy with its tools it was not long before his grandmother and all the neighborhood knew that isaac had been about he has constructed a model of windmill so not so large and its machinery was complete its little sails were nearby made of linen and whirled round very shiftly when the mill was placed in the draught of air Even a puff of wind from isaac's mouth or from the pair of bellows was sufficient to set the sail in motion and what was most curious if the handful of grains of wheat were put into the little hopper so that would they would soon be converted into snow white flaws plum gale abina very strong wind tempest na violent windy storm swiftly na high speed draught na airy space ka tadike kudiya and idam puff a short breath of wind or bellows a pipe to blow air into the fire acquiring na getting knowledge or skill gods I'm not determined. Peer, uh, peer na investigate. Hoppers na funnel-shaped bins for feeding grains into mills.